Hi, today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to add your email account to your iPhone from your hosting service. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the main screen on your iPhone where all your icons are and find an icon named settings. You're going to tap on that icon and it's going to take you to another screen where you'll be followed by several choices. You're going to go to the very bottom one where it's almost the bottom where it says mail, contacts, and calendars. You're going to tap on that and it's going to take you to another screen where you can go ahead and tap on the top where it says add account. You're going to tap on that too. Now you'll have several choices here where you have Exchange, Mobile Me, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, AOL, but the one we want is the last one which is Other. You're going to tap on that and it will take you to another screen where you're going to choose Add Mail Account. So you're going to tap on that which is the first one and now you'll see the first part of the screen where you're going to add your information. It's going to ask you for your name, address, password and description. So the description, it fills it out by itself so you don't have to worry about it. So in this case, I'm going to add my email account here. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, all my information. All right, so I did that already. I filled in all the information. And then now you're going to tap on the button on the right that says save on the top. Tap on that and it will take you to another screen. This following screen is where we're going to put all the settings to get your mail. You're going to be on the top, you're going to have two choices. You're going to have IMAP or POP. For most of you, a POP account is what you're going to configure on the uh, iPhone. Uh, an IMAP connection, that depends if you're using an IMAP connection on your other end as far as uh, on your mail client on your computer so that all depends but in this case we're gonna fill in pop the IMAP section will be the same way that you're gonna do the pop section so either one will be filled the same way but in this case we're gonna choose pop and we already have the top filled in now we're gonna go fill in the incoming mail server so we're gonna scroll down a little bit to the incoming mail server and we're gonna go ahead and tap on the host name on the host name you're gonna put mail dot and your domain name so I'm gonna put here our domain name eiphost.com remember to replace eiphost.com for your domain so whatever your domain is put it there then where it says username you're gonna type again your email address so I'm gonna go ahead and put my email address here and now I have that piece filled in I'm going to scroll down a little bit to the outgoing mail server section. And this section right here would be what you would use to send out your messages from your iPhone. On the host name, you're going to fill in the same thing as the incoming mail server. You're going to again put mail dot and your domain name. And in this case, we're putting our domain. So remember, you have to replace it for yours. On the username, again, you would put your email address, which I'm doing that here. And then finally, it's going to ask you for the password at the bottom. Alrighty, so I have the password set in. And now, tap again on the button on the right that says Save. Once it saves the settings, you will get a little pop-up that says Cannot Connect Using SSL. Do you want to try setting up the account without SSL? You're going to tap on the Yes button right here. And it will give you a little check marks if everything went fine now your email account has been added to the iPhone go ahead and press the home button which is the circle on your iPhone to take you back to the main screen once you're at the main screen you will see an icon here that says mail it will probably be on your main screen but in this case it's here on the dock so you're going to go ahead and tab on it and now your email account will have been added to your iPhone it's a quick easy step just follow step by step and if you add, need to add more accounts to your service you go ahead and do it right there one last thing I'm going to show you is the signature that you can add for your email. So when you send emails out, if you want a little signature at the bottom, this is easy to do. Press the home button again to get out to the main screen. And you're going to go to settings again and tab on the settings button. Once you tab on the settings button, go back down again to mail, contacts, and calendars. Tab on that. And you're going to scroll down to the very bottom where you're going to find one that says signature 
and on the signature one you can tab on that and you can fill in the information you want here for your signature it's quickly an easy step to do and you can add your signature to personalize your messages when your customers or friends receive it